Hi, my name is Trevor Henderson from Cal Poly Pomona. We're here for Educause 2013. We're in beautiful, sunny Anaheim, California, and the weather is amazing. We're getting really excited as the world leaders in higher education IT start to converge on the Anaheim Convention Center. So let's go to have a talk with them and see what's in store for our future. I'm here with Sherry Downer from Auburn University. Sherry, welcome to Educause. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. So how many years have you attended Educause so far? Oh, I've been attending for years, at least 15 probably. Oh, so you are... No, no, uh, not every single year, but... Okay. But a seasoned veteran nonetheless. Yes. I look forward to sort of three things every year. One of them is uh, connecting with colleagues, either reconnecting or meeting new folks. Uh, the other one is a chance to sit in on interesting sessions. I find something that I like every year. And then the other one is really to be able to wander around the vendor pavilion. There's always interesting things to see there and stuff that we need to sort of talk with the vendors about. So I definitely look forward to networking with different uh, groups and learning more about kind of where the IT industry is heading in terms of higher education. Well, I'm very interested in hearing what uh, people are experiencing, what kind of challenges they're taking on, what's new since last year, what are people doing in terms of working with vendor partners, and what's really surprising them, what are the great challenges, and I think that comes out throughout the week, through spending time on the vendor floor, through the sessions with the CIO lounge or other constituents, the conversation, what's the mood, what's the big thing, what's really happening here. I'm excited about the BYOD, bring your own device, and many institutions are getting involved with that. It sounds like it's very easy, and it sounds like something that we're already doing, but there is a lot more. And so that's what I'm here to find out more about, what's the other part of it, because everyone brings their device to campus, and more than likely you can connect to the internet. But there's a lot more to it, and that's what this organization um, will, will do for us, to let us know the part that we may not know, you know, sitting somewhere in Northeast Baltimore like I am, that I can find out what's going on. Now, there are many things that I don't know down the pike, you know, so that's the other thing that's very good about this. You come to this organization, you find out that there's a number of things that people are doing, and then you can take that information back to your institution and look like a star. <laughs> Oh, I think that's what leadership is. I mean, it has to be creative. We have to survive. Education is really tough in the funding area right now, so the more creative I am in offering courses and getting people um, enrolled in them, and part of it is, is a big part of it, and so I have to be really creative to make them want to enroll in programs. We offer certificates now online, those kind of things, to get people back in the education world and keep us out there getting more. Well, I think our great challenge for all of us is that the demand for IT services is going up exponentially and our resources are typically flat. And that's the deal. And so we have to figure out how to make that work. And so we have to scale. We have to scale through things like the cloud we talked about. We have to scale through better collaboration with each other so we're not all individually working separately from one another. So what I'm interested in, I think the challenge for our times is how to, how to use IT, how to position it to transform our institutions and how do we do that working together and so I think it's a great challenge but at the flip side it's also the opportunity and that's really what this week is about for me. I mean our challenge always is I think that we have multiple single points of failure you know we we have lots of really good staff but in almost all cases we have one person who knows a lot of things so trying to find a way to, to either uh, leverage vendor relationships or uh, peers around uh, our community are, is really important for us. Okay. One of the issues with many institutions um, happens to be the gra enrollment, graduation rate, and retention rate. And those are things that normally are not handled by any type of IT per se. And I'm finding that more organizations now are turning to IT to get more reports to find out what their enrollment trends are, getting more information, uh, alerts about the students to find out how they're doing. And uh, those are certain items, as I mentioned, you can buy software products perhaps to do that, but then again, 
um, what we're finding out is that even though you may be on the technology side, you need more or less the academic side as well. And that's something that Educause uh, would, would help. And we would find that here we probably have a lot of academics who are concerned about that. They're trying to find out how to use technology to help them with their uh, issues and then we're trying to figure out how we can service them. So it's like a happy marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has a different experience their first time, but I would say don't be shy about introducing yourself to folks. We wear name badges so that everybody at least sees a name and an a institution. Um, don't be afraid to leave a session if it's not right for you. Um, that's, I think, a perfectly good one. And spend some time in the vendor hall, even if you don't have something specific in mind that you're interested in, in looking at. One piece of advice is to get out there and go to all those different kinds of experiences, see what fits for you. The second is just keep working on those networking relationships. Uh, if you can meet another 6, 10, 12, 15 people here that you haven't met before that are colleagues around the country, around the world, those can really help you in your career in the years ahead. Well, that wraps up day one here in Anaheim, California for Educause 2013. It was a great day. We had some really good comments from our guests, and we really look forward to a lot more because we'll be here for the next few days. So if you see us in the halls, say hi. We'd love to hear from you, and we're really interested in what you have to say about higher education IT.